Dr. Tara Lynn F. Banks. Okay, hello. I am Dr. Terry Lynn F. Bankus, and I have no conflict of interest with LASIK surgery. I'm going to present my part, and then I've been requested by a patient, Kim Harbinger, to report on her story as well. I've heard about the problems... As, that, as long as you do it in five minutes. I will. I have heard about the problems that patients with poor visual outcomes have been experiencing since 2000. I volunteered to be the physician counselor for several LASIK patient support group meetings held throughout the Tampa Bay area from 2001 through 2004. Meetings consisted of from 10 to 30 various members, all of whom had visual problems following refractive surgery. Members described a variety of emotional responses, including depression, anxiety, difficulty sleeping, and panic attacks. Many had self-anger, taking responsibility for their poor outcomes upon themselves. They bitterly complained of the expense of trying to find visual solutions. Some called LASIK the, quote, stupidest thing I ever did, end quote. They bemoaned their loss of autonomy, especially their decreased night vision and visual aberrations that kept them from recognizing people when in dim light situations, made night driving an impossibility, reduced their ability to read, and threatened their job security. Many became obsessed with their vision and reported that they felt estranged from family and friends who did not want to talk to them anymore about their continuing insolvable problems. The ophthalmologic surgeons routinely discounted their symptoms or were unable to deal with them as patients. I heard stories of true depression, suicidal ideation, and rage. Ophthalmologists I currently work with on a daily basis have expressed the concern of what LASIK will do for cataract surgery. The method to calculate the power of the intraocular lens required for cataract surgery is unknown, and the community ophthalmologists have no way to assess the intraocular lens requirements. Therefore, they are unwilling to treat these patients. As our LASIK patients age, the lens calculations will be a growing problem. Another recent question involves the increasing number of LASIK flap MRSA infections. Optometrists have expressed to me the concern that this might become an epidemic. What does the future hold for these LASIK patients? The problems with LASIK are an open secret among ophthalmologists, many of whom have patients in their practices with poor outcomes. I fail to understand how the ophthalmologic community can defend the continuing production of life-altering complications, and I view it as a true disgrace of modern medicine. I challenge this FDA panel to take the necessary action to protect our patients in the United States. Thank you. Now I'm going to report on Kim Haringer's story. Kim Haringer is a 44-year-old woman who had, uh, is married, was a registered nurse, and has rheumatoid arthritis. She had RK uh, surgery in uh, 14 years ago. And then her vision regressed. So back in 2006, she saw a surgeon who did LASIK surgery on top of her previous surgery. He told her that he could do the LASIK surgery with no problem. Immediately following the surgery, there was a problem. What ensued was a nightmare of increasing frustration, despair, depression, as Kim sought to find out what happened to her vision. She was aided in her research for relief by family members who sought to understand what was going on with her. She was having constant problems with depression. She was depressed and suicidal. She was admitted to the mental hospital five times. On her fifth admission, she was diagnosed as having hysterical blindness. Finally, recently, she found an optometrist who was able to fit her with some hard contacts, which, while still she has problems, have improved her vision somewhat. Okay. She asked, uh, when asked what, she, what people would like to learn from her experience, she is very clear. The whole health field in general needs to be aware and reconsider not everyone fits into some textbook diagnoses. Medical remedies trail medical advances in the light of LASIK surgery. And for patients like Kim, we have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to understanding and treating poor outcomes. 
Thank you.